Hey there Spartans, this video is brought to you by Opinion Outpost. Ever wish you could get a reward for sharing your opinion? Of course, who wouldn't? Well, you can! Sign up for free and Opinion Outpost will send you surveys on TV, movies, new products and more. By completing surveys you qualify for, you can earn points that can then be redeemed for gift cards and cash. Sounds pretty cool, right? Even better, every survey you complete gets you an entry into a quarterly $10,000 drawing and there's no limit on entries. If you're interested, check the link in the description box below. The Domain, a vast repository for information and a tool vital to the Forerunners during the height of their society. But what is it, and what role will it play in Halo 5? The Domain, as far as the Forerunners knew, had always existed and was accessible from virtually any point in the galaxy. With the origins unknown to the Forerunners, they revered it with a sense of mysticism and awe. The Domain was transcendent and in time became closely tied with their beliefs in the Mantle. When accessing the Domain, a Forerunner could usually only access information they knew about or otherwise had available. The deepest records contained within were largely inaccessible, due largely to a strange behavior associated with the Domain. It was not static. As information was added and more individuals accessed that information, changes would emerge, seeming to be an effort by the Domain to make itself more complete. These changes were regarded as sacred and never reversed or corrected. The Domains kept impressions of those who visited, though these essences were more akin to Echoes. When a Forerunner died, it was believed that their essence was uploaded directly into the Domain, acting as something of an afterlife. The exact nature of the Domain remained a mystery to the Forerunners even as their civilization came to an end. The Domain was not simply an information repository, but itself had a consciousness and a will. It would push information to the forefront in an effort to inform and spread knowledge. In the closing years of the Forerunner Flood War, the Domain became largely inaccessible, with the Forerunners eventually cut off from it completely. This was due to the movement of the Halo Array through Slipspace, the size of the objects creating breaches in space-time and causality itself. Near the end, a juridical, a Forerunner judge, attempted to access the Domain, only to find the Domain itself wanted to give testimony. The juridical was killed by the overload of information. In the final days, the Gravemind conveyed a message to the Forerunner known as the Librarian, who had stranded herself on humanity's homeworld, Earth. It revealed that the Domain was a precursor creation, and a piece of precursor technology the Forerunners had thought mythical, the Organon. The Organon, according to legend, would activate all precursor artifacts. The Domain itself was created and stored in the Milky Way, and contained the knowledge of 100 billion years. The Domain was projected via precursor artifacts throughout the galaxy, artifacts held together by neural physics. While the concept was barely understood, it was known that the Halo Array would affect it and destroy any artifacts held together by neural physics. Just days before, the Librarian had locked her husband, the Ordidact, away in his cryptum on Requiem. The former Forerunner General had been driven mad by the Gravemind. By sealing him away, the Librarian had hoped he would be able to meditate in the Domain to heal his mind. However, without the Domain, the Ordidact would be forced to stew in his own madness, and worse, the entire history of the Forerunners would be lost. The Librarian desperately tried to reach the Isodidact, a virtual copy of the Ordidact, on the Ark, hoping to stop the activation of the Halo Array. She was, needless to say, unsuccessful. When the Array activated, the Flood was eliminated, precursor artifacts taken with them, and the Domain seemingly lost. Even by 2557, when the Master Chief and Cortana were exploring Requiem, the pair discovered terminals that had been stuck in a loop, trying to access the Domain. Now, in 2558, the Domain has made a mysterious resurgence, how? Only Halo 5 will hold the answers. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.